Hey folks, what's up? Right now, I'm going to talk about very briefly about one fragrance from my collection, and I'm going to do the review, which I just noticed I never did, uh, did haven't done a video on this review on this fragrance, particular fragrance from the house of Dolce Gabbana. As you can see, it's the light blue Puram. Okay, this one has been in my collection more than a year or so so i've been using it not so much because this is not one of my favorite fragrances but it's very popular among um, the asian people especially all right so i'm going to talk about it briefly all right so before i start anything else let me show you the scent of the day which is a uh, the purchase from yesterday from starling enterprise i hope you saw my video on that i took a trip on the to the shop and uh, did like a brief video show their collection very nice people you know good people makes you feel good always and it's always nice to know such people that you have them in your life not just for fragrances itself yes great fragrances but great people as well at good prices it's all all good you know it's like blessing of god it's all good so yeah so do check out starting enterprise for if you are looking for good fragrances at reasonable bargain and you want to try out try out their fragrance also so yesterday i bought this from them it's uh just wanted to buy something didn't have much cash on me so i tried i bought this you jump just saw it for some time there was only one bottle left and i'll be doing my initial impression uh, very soon i want to do it right now but then i thought like no there's a reason for me to switch to dolce and gabbana i'll tell you why and i'm using this like two three sprays it's very nice juice it's not as loud as like the original you i'll talk about it soon all right so you jump all right <coughs> and the, the price is quite reasonable too i think it's around 2200 taka bracket more or less so if you buy it from them so very good deal already all right <coughs> excuse me so now let's look at very briefly at this house dolce and gabbana all right so this one as you saw in my previous uh, review i think there was one uh, for the ladies i did a review for the ladies one which is my more favorite one and i'm sorry it's feeling cold the weather is really crazy these days you know the flu catches you it's too warm if you don't switch on the ac if you turn on the ac and then it's like you're feeling cold what's the solution <laughs> all right so yeah i did the female version of this which i really love and my lady owns it and then she really likes it and i like it too with the bamboo note very beautiful citrus everything and this one the males one have a lot of similarity to that and there are some good things about this and some bad things about this from my experience i'll talk about it very briefly okay <coughs> so let me show you the presentation first of all this is a 75 ml bottle and the reason for me to do this review right now but at this point is uh, I'm actually letting go of this bottle tomorrow along with two more other bottles all right Mont Blanc individual as well as the Ferrari Sumo I don't reach for them that much and then I they are really good fragrances like don't don't get me wrong but I have now more than 120 in my collection and then in the rotation these bottles don't you know I don't often reach for so I'm like letting them go so as I'm letting them go I'm not gonna be you know this already to me as a man of my word so these already bottles belong to this other brother who confirm the buy from the page so yeah I, I i will actually just review it from the experience all right so the yeah that's the reason so box actually is same, same pattern like the dolce and gabbana puram original one that one is a bit more on the velvety purple side i think yeah dark blue this is light blue all right and it's very much velvety feel is there very nicely done box the 75 ml edt there's also the intenso version of this the uh, puram intenso version as well as i think there's the new one old one formulation and this is the more like a newer formulation because the cap is different the previous cap was not like uh, not not transparent blue all right so the bottle box actually looks pretty nice well done and very nice feel to it all right so yeah for box very nice presentation and i think it's the house of italy yeah oh this is made in uk but dolce and gabbana okay. i don't know what happened different countries i'm just telling you and the bottle actually looks like if you know uh, ck1 for uh, the unisex one or you know Ludice, if you know uh, Aqua Di Gio, those are frosted, frosted glass. Looks a bit small but this is actually 75 ml, right? So yeah, if you're scared of fakes, you can look at the the sticker here, 75 ml and all the information made in UK and the serial batch code is 5120. So for those who are experts, look into the batch code which here and whatnot. The cap is like this when you take it off, inside this color. So before this part of the plastic, as far as I have seen from Mark's videos, older ones, this part, this blue part used to be this colored, all right? So that's the difference between the old one and new bottle. Apart from that, all the bottles look kind of same, all right? Dolce & Gabbana, I don't think this one used to come with sticker, like the original Puram, okay? And then the juice level, you can see when the frosted, very cool looking glass, all right? 
So nice presentation, looks small, but this is 75 ml. So there is also 125 ml, big bottle, <coughs> excuse me. So whichever you prefer. So this one, as far as I know, the retail price, this one retails from 45 to 55 US dollars. If you go the bigger size, it will go 70, all the way to 80, 85 dollars mark. If you look online, however, you can get it, I think, a little bit cheaper, $40 mark for this price, and maybe $55 for the bigger size bottle, all right? So yeah, not cheap, all right? It's above your run-in-the-mill fragrance price bracket, all right? So overall presentation, I really like it. I think it looks great in your collection, you know? Nothing mind-blowing, but together they look like a very nice concept. Conceptually, the velvet, the blue, the frosted glass works. So I'll give this 7 out of 10 for the presentation. Okay, so... I'll approach this slightly differently, okay? The, I'm not going to talk about the notes, I'm not going to talk about the perfume for this, but uh, things you need to know that this fragrance, particular fragrance, has a lot of reviews online. So if you want to see a detailed review on the note and whatnot, you can check them out. So no point, those would be like talking about the same thing. So I'll tell you the goods of this fragrance and I'll tell you the bad. Maybe let me tell you the bad first. Why this fragrance didn't work for me and why I decided to let it go despite it being a good performer, good fragrance. My first reason is this one opens up very fresh with lemon note, definitely like the women one, but it comes with a very heavy peppery kick, all right, which is uh, just like Aqua Di Gio, I have uh, the copy is Perry Alice 360 degree red. That one also has the pepper up top. Then if you know David Beckham Instinct, that one opens up a lot of pepper, pimento, and also I think David of Hot Water said to have a pepper note. So yeah, imagine those, but much more stronger, um, like let's say pepper. So I am actually pretty hardcore. I like peppery fragrance. I like strong fragrance. I have wood-based fragrance and whatnot. But this one never worked with me because I couldn't take the pepper. The lemon is very nice, but opening, it chokes me. Even just one spray. If I spray it here or even my hand, I get waft of it. Summer, winter. I cannot take it. So it's just my personal thing. I think it's my nose or it's just my brain didn't work for me. All right. So which is why I decided to let it go. Someone else, it is very popular. It works really good workhorse. Okay. I'll tell you the good things. But that's the reason it didn't work for me. Another bad thing I could say, it could be um, like for people who like it, bit toned down fragrances, like, like something sophisticated, bit more, you know, doesn't project that much, more close to the skin, like Dolce & Gabbana, the one. Yeah, this one is the same brand, but that one is a bit more toned down. This is very loud. So those two reasons, I think, are the, for me at least, are the downsides. So the good side about this, all right? Though it opens with that lemon, the pepper kick, and then slowly, I think, I'm not going to spray this, just going to tell you from my nose. Yes, very aromatic scent, first of all, and very, very potent juice. This one is a very aromatic and projects like crazy, all right? You got to know this. The light blue doesn't apply, I don't know why they call it light blue, alright, because it has the same vibe of Isimiyake, imagine Isimiyake Ludise with the pepper cake. So that one, nothing light about it, it's very sharp like a samurai sword, alright, from the aquatic. So this one is as good as Isimiyake Ludise, so that's the good thing, first good thing. Longevity on this is very very good, in Bangladesh condition every time on average, the extreme heat condition, and the summer I get 4-5 to five hours easily. It lasts on your shirt forever, people can trace you. When you pass them by, they can notice your fragrance from three, four, four feet away. All right. So that's the second thing. Third thing is the smell. Just me, I couldn't take the pepper, but I think it smells very nice in general. For this classification of aquatics, this smells really nice. It smells fresh. Reminds you of the uh, salty um, oceanic breeze. All right. And the mix of the lemon and the pepper. And very calming and, you know, sort of like a relaxing sort of scent. Very up class. All right. This smells very up class. That's another good thing, all right? Performance, everything, you're going to get compliments because people are going to notice you. This could make a very good, um, if you apply less, not so eight, ten sprays, it, it won't be uh, offensive to others. So it will make a good office scent, formal. If you suit it up, if you're just wearing a casual shirt, you can wear this on the hot summer days, you know? You can absolutely, just like Jeremy, you see that guy, his shirt is buttonless, he's just walking on the beach with the slacks and stuff or three quarters, you can absolutely pull it off with this also. Say you're going shopping, you're going to play pool, you're gonna drive, just like casual walk, taking your dog out for a walk, great, okay? So the another thing, the price point a little bit higher, but uh, another good thing is about this, I think um, 
the fragrance itself uh it i don't know somehow the again i was talking about the light right there's nothing light about it this is very noticeable so if your thing is you know you want to project this is one fragrance you can project with all right oh the other thing even though this is built for summer and everything i think this will be great great for all year round fragrance because in the winter time in bangladesh 15 14 i used to wear this and i get good performance ludisi and this one i think are great great all year long versatile fragrance okay so if you want to use it like let's say when it's snowing try it on your skin i think this is gonna last like if you like nautica's voyage imagine nautica's voyage times two times performance that's what my experience has been with dolce gabbana light blue puram okay so this being a flanker right like um let's say this one is a people think oh dolce gabbana puram this is the younger brother no that one is a strong performer this is another strong performer and this is not a younger brother <laughs> all right so for the price what you pay you get quality you may think like oh it's not as flashy bottle or not flashy a presentation but trust me this is a underrated gem okay so if you want to see mark's review on this dolce gamma light blue puram you check it out i'll put his link below because he's my favorite reviewer all right so for longevity i'm gonna give this eight out of ten very good longevity on this particular baby <clears throat> projection i'm gonna give this i think 7.5 why because different weather conditions it varies all right sometimes it projects really really beastly all right but when it's a little bit cooler it, it projects within like two three feet away so 7.5 all right <clears throat> or seven seven point five somewhere there okay compliments girls or people around you who like fresh aquatic scents a little bit manly this is very manly it 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 would be too much strong and potent for women to use i guess so yeah you're gonna pick up compliments from this this is a compliment garner okay for versatility all year all year round all year round mm. all year round you can use this pretty good pickup in the above the middle tier of fragrances okay this is pretty much high up there with the other top aquatics so this is is this um like a hall of famer or uh, something uh, mind-blowing no this is not mind-blowing this is this one there's a lot of other fragrances that smell in the same vein but this one does it better than many others that's the one I'll tell you all right and I'm not sure if uh, someone asked me to do a review on this from uh, one of the countries tropical countries so I'm doing it for him actually also so I don't know which year this one would be 2015 or 14 bottle I don't know the recent if they have a new bottle I don't know how that one performs but my this one the 5120 batch performs very very well so if you if you want to buy this if you like those other fragrance that i mentioned and you like a little bit peppery aqua di gio and ludice especially you're gonna like this so nothing unique but very solid fragrance so out of 10 i'm gonna give this 8.5 definitely and that one thing what you're gonna hate about it is that peppery kick may not be everybody's cup of tea remember that try it before buy it try it on your skin and your shirt Go around, come back and see if it works for you. All right. So that's all for Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I am very glad before I let this baby go. I will be very happy that someone else is going to enjoy this. All right. I'm just glad I finished my review. So I feel relieved. All right. So guys, take care. And I have a lot of new bottles to review. And I have a few recordings, pre-recorded ones. I'll update them sometimes. All right. Take care, guys. Good night from Dhaka.